We gotta find Jack. Get off of here. Jack. Jack, are you down here? Jack. Jack. <laughs> Mister, have you seen Jack? Excuse me, I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, I don't think so. Sorry. Okay, thanks. You're useless. <laughs> Do you know, have you seen Jack? Save no. <laughs> out of the way, out of the way. Move, gosh darn it, there's no time. I gotta find Jack. <laughs> Jack. Get in here. They must have Jack inside. Leave Jack alone, he's just a boy. Have hey, you seen Jack? Damn it, Carruthers. I don't got time for this. The saloon. We gotta find Jack! <laughs> yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. What's a papist? Very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get off? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French seat. Mm. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Mm. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's going to happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh, man. I wanted to wait for him, but... If it wasn't for us, they probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that. Look, is he done? Hello, sir. How can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. A dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. For a scalp. He said troll back. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, Mr. Can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me, I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. What if I just said that he stole a boy? Bronte? Hey. Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Hey, you gonna fall over? You know what I mean, friend? No, are you okay? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how to Alright, thanks, oh, dude. Hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Okay, don't be racist. Oh, come on, you did that to yourself. Also, it's day now? Okay, if you say so. 
on now. This sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseated. Right, you're nauseous and I'm nauseated. You're <laughs> Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Thank you. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell him. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you up, what it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. What I feel like they're going to try and beat me up. Stay nah, he's got to know better. Come on, then. Unless he's got an adult gang. Pretty much. No, you say no. Oh my god. Getting the big hustle. Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here is a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, Mister. Uh huh. Famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. Okay. Mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine... I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Bye, oh my god. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh, it's not going that far. You're gonna get shot by the village idiot. You stop right now. Hey kid, what the hell do you think you're gonna do when really asshole? Really? Isn't this back to where I started? Uh, no, I can run for days. Mate, you're not smart. I'm about to shoot this kid, I swear to God. They'll call me child kill on Arthur, I don't even care. Why are you such a little bitch, dude? Just give it up, oh my fucking god, this game. Move! Fuck with me right now. I don't want any trouble. Okay, sure you did.
I'm gonna kill him. I'm actually gonna murder this child. I don't care what it does to my honor. Yes. Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about them all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here. Was that so hard? I'm pretty sure my horse. Uh, yeah. Uh. First caramel, now a war horse. Can't seem to catch a break. That kid killed my horse. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I did crash. But he essentially killed my horse because I was chasing him on account of him stealing my things. Uh, so, you know, maybe I should have just killed all those kids. Can I pick up my saddle? God, go then. Might as well pick the weapons I want. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get more. Don't buy drugs. Sir, I want you to have this. What? It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. <sighs> what did he give me? Hey, Dutch. Getting robbed who by bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire, but I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about. Him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Good work. Well now, we go pay him a visit. 
is it? I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever Sounds good. It takes, we need to get that boy back. So don't worry, I, I like, um, I like Arthur's longer hair. I thought I wouldn't, but it's nice. Uh, the problem is, I wish I could like trim in the back and stuff. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm like genuinely afraid that I'm not gonna get to see any classic places I love, other than Blackwater. Hmm. Well, I guess I need to buy a horse. Is there a stable around? Way down there. can't not have a horse it's as simple as that whether I like it or not The city is cool though. I mean, I know like Arthur hates it, and like I don't blame him. I wouldn't like want to actually be here. Like, look at all that smoke in the air. Uh, not to say that they don't do that now. Um, but it's cool to see. It's like industrial. It feels very real. Oh, hell. All right, here's the stable. Let's see what kind of horses they got. Oh, cool. So that's why I couldn't pick it up. They took the liberty of grabbing it for me. What owned horses do I all have? I guess I should buy a horse. Hmm. Ugh. Aw. It's an expensive horsey. I like it though. And now I get to name it. Uh In remembrance of Caramel Thunder I am, and my war horse, I am proud to present Black Lightning. Or Dark Lightning. Damn it, why didn't I go with Black Lightning? Whatever. Uh. Real fine saddles here. You 
must be a connoisseur. I don't know. Maybe. It's better to equip yourself and not need it than the other way around. I can agree with that. Good deal. Oh, whoa, no, no. Oh, well, that's what I get. Uh, I should be fine. Services. Grooming. Nothing better than a well-groomed horse. That's what I like. No, sorry, this was probably a little boring, but I am, I am, uh, I'm gonna go with dark, I'm gonna go with black lightning. No, but dark is cool. I'm gonna keep it dark for now. Keep it dark for now. Ah, oh, I got myself a girl horse. Nice. Well, dark lightning. Let's go see our old pal Dutch, shall we? Oh, well, perhaps we'll meet a stranger on the way. Thank you. I take pride in it. See that? People like you already. I can stand still. Sorry. I'm inclined to agree. Here, help me, please. Back to work. The bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius. So we shall have poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice. Like I say. Fair enough. No. No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes. You meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> when the silver tongue American betrayed. And I paid the money to. Yes. He told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, big nuts. <laughs> it is demonstration of my genius. My ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Oh my it's god, Arthur. It's a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves you cannot see. Still, the investors would not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, ladies. <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> <Gentlemen>. <laughs> He's all excited. Hello, hello, sir. Okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, my friends, you are about to witness history. Arthur, don't knock it into the water. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. But oh my god, I dude. Can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this. You're boat. a goddamn fraud. 
And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a student. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us <laughs> your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this. Okay. This. And... Uh... Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay. okay. If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boats to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius. And I have This is weird. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course. Arthur, back up. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. This is really fun, actually. No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hamlet. They perished to a mere five on the Husatani. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Hey. I'm getting the mastery of this. This is like really fun. Are you kidding me? Is not over yet. Any fool can explode a sitting duck. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> I, mean, I gotta give you credit. You are highly intelligent if you're able to do that. Oh my god. I got it, I got it, I got it. The steam train, <laughs> the telegraph machine, the motor car. Oh. They will all see oh. a pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No. Uh oh. Just uh -oh. Rays in the air. Like the voice of the dog. And funding from us. And funding from you, of course. But one thing to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid is it enough smoking to more than it should? Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. It's a small boat. Those mines are not so small. I didn't crash it, did I? <laughs> It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab. Back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, Pay me a visit. Sure. I really amaze you. Sure thing. <laughs> I hope you will 
forgive my That was really awesome. Glad I took the time to do that. We'll call that an episode too.